welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct angle 48 3 quarter. So that means um, we're going to be having an angle of 48 3 over 4 degrees. So how do we go about to constructing this angle? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you two ways to go about it. So at the end of this video, let me know which are out of the two methods I'm going to be sharing with you. Which one do you feel is more convenient in constructing angle? 48 3 quarter all right now uh, before we st uh, start this video let me just write it here that this is going to be the method one so uh, method one so the first thing you need to do is to decide the angles that you are going to be using for this um, to get this angle so for us to get this now in this method one we are going to be considering angle 45 degrees plus angle 3 3 quarter degree so addition of these two angles will give us what we are actually looking forward to construct which is um, angle 48 3 over 4 all right so if you have watched other videos on on, uh, on construction of angles like this you see there's one thing i do mention that basic knowledge of construction of angle 60 angle 30 angle 90 angle 45 will be of help all right so let's get started and um so in this video i'm going to be making use of both line all through so that you can see all the lines clearly however when you are drawing yours make sure all the lines that you are going to be using are faint line that's construction line except um, the line that will show the angle that uh, shows the angle itself like you can see in the sample i show on the screen all right so now i've drawn my line i'm bringing my compass to draw a semicircle on that line so on that line i'm going to be indicating some of those points And I'm going to just call the center of the semicircle. I'm going to call it point O. So I'll call this place point A and then call this point B. So point A is where the semicircle is touching my line, and point B is where it's touching this line. So since I said I'm going to be using angle 45 and angle 3 3 quarter, so that means I will need to construct angle 45. So in doing that, I'll have to first construct angle 90, and my angle 90, I'll have to bisect it so I can achieve angle 45. So let's do that. So I bring in my compass at any convenient length. From point B, I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll go to point A. I'll draw an arc. Now, from the point of intersection, I'm going to draw a line to point O. So, you should always be careful when picking your intersection. So, make sure you pick the right point of intersection. So, now we've done that. We have angle 90. So, where this uh, line, this perpendicular line is touching, the semicircle at this point, let me call that point, uh, point C. Point C. So what I want to do next is to bisect this angle 90 so I can get angle 45. So I'll bring back my compass. I'll draw an arc from point B. With the same length, I'll go to point C. And draw another arc. So from their point of intersection, which is um, right here, I'm going to draw a line to point O. To point O. So now we have angle 45 degrees and another 45 degrees here. Now the next thing for us now is to get three three quarter angle three three quarter that will add to 45. So it will be somewhere after this line, somewhere at the top of this line to make up 48 three quarter. Now how do we go about this? So this is um, the small calculation that you will need for it. I hope you can see this. Now we are going to be having 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. And that will give us um, 15 degrees exactly so this 15 degrees i'm going to divide it twice if i divide it once i'll be getting seven and a half if i should divide seven and a half the second time it will give me three three quarter so this is just the mathematical calculations to it so let me show you what i'm trying to say now let's also construct angle 60 degrees at the rest, at this first quadrant yeah so what i'll do is i'll bring back my compass and i used to draw the semicircle so from point b i've not changed the length I'll just draw an arc to touch the semicircle. So, from where it is touching the semicircle, let me note it. So, let me call that point point D. So, I'm going to draw a line from um, that will pass through point D and then come to point O. So that means I'm going to be having um, angle 
DOB to be equal to 60 degrees and don't forget we already have um, our 45 already now okay there's another thing I need to make take note here this line that is making our angle 45 so let me also give it um, let me just call this point E point E so with that that means we also have an um, angle DOE to be 15 degrees exactly because from here because we already know that DOB is 50, I mean is 60, then EOB. So let me just note this here. So EOB is 45. It's 45 degrees. So the difference there is 15. Now this angle here is what I'm going to divide twice to achieve um, three three quarter degree. So in doing that, you bring in your compass. So from point E. So from point E, I'm going to draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point D. I'll draw another arc. So now from their point of intersection, which is um, right here, so I'm going to draw a line to point O. To point O. Now I've been able to divide this into two. So this is seven and a half degrees. This is also seven and a half degrees. All right. So if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly click on that subscribe button. Now this line that I've just drawn, where it is touching the semicircle, is at those points. Okay. So I think it's better like this. So it's touching it at those points. So let me call that point point F. Exactly. So now what I want to do is I want to bisect angle FOE. Exactly. Angle FOE is currently seven and a half degrees. So once I bisect it, and in bisecting it, I'll bring back my compass, I'll place it on point E. So let me just increase it because the angle is very small. So I'll draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point F. And then I'll draw another arc. So you notice that the, um, the point of intersection is kind of like wide. But you have to be care very careful when picking it. So you look for the point of intersection that lies at the middle so somewhere here and this line that i've just drawn is the line that makes up our 48 3 over 4 degrees so you have to be very careful in doing this so with this now, so this is it. This line is what makes up our 48 3 quarter degrees. So if you bring in your uh, your protractor to confirm, so you'll be having a line. I mean, your protractor should be something very close to 49 because that angle will be very close to 49. So. There we have it, um, 48, 3 over 4 degrees. So now this is the first method, exactly. So I, like I said, I'm going to be showing you two different ways to go about this. So now let's look at another approach. There's another way of you can go about it to get your angle, uh, 48, 3 over 4. And let me quickly... All right, so let me write it here. So this is... Um, so this is... Let's, let's look at method 2. So this is going to be method two, and um, so let me just do some writing here so that you can get it. Now in this method two, remember we are looking for angle forty-eight, three over four, right? Now if you should multiply it by two, you are going to be having ninety-seven and a half degree. Exactly. So what is this trying to tell us that if we can construct angle ninety-seven and a half degree and we divide it by two, the answer will still be giving us. 48 3 over 4 exactly now the question is how do you construct angle 97 and a half and which is quite simple 97 and a half is simply 90 degrees plus 7 and a half exactly so let me show you what how to go about it so let me draw my line again all 
right, so let me draw my horizontal line. So then I bring in my compass again to draw my semicircle. Okay, so So now this is going to be point O, this is going to be point A, and let me call this point B. So the first thing I want to do, remember the thing is we are going to be constructing angle 97 at the half first. So in doing that, I need to first construct angle 90. So I bring in my compass at any convenient length from point B. So from point B, I'm going to draw an arc. From point A with the same length, I'll draw an arc. Now from the point of intersection, which is right here, I'll draw a line to point O. So I already have my 90. The next thing is for me to get uh, 7 and a half degrees, which will be at this second quadrant. Now to do that, I'm going to get angle 30. So once I have angle 30 degrees, you know, if I have angle 30 degrees, if I should divide it, um, that will be twice. I'll divide it first, I'll get 15. If I should divide it again, I'll get 7 and a half. So how do we achieve that? So remember, with uh, this is the compass I used to draw the semicircle. Once I place it with the same length, I place it on point A, and I use it to draw an arc on this side. Now this is the point of intersection right here. So let me call it um, let me call the intersect point of intersection here point C, and let me call the one on this this um, angle ninety. Let me call it point D. Exactly. So that means from here to here is 60 degrees. And Y from here to here is 30 degrees. Exactly. So what we want to bisect is the angle between C O D. Exactly. So now in doing that, I bring in my compass. So from point C, I draw an arc. With the same length, I'll come to point D and draw another arc. So let me extend this. So from the point of intersection, which is right here, I will draw a line to point O. So you can see. Now where that line is touching the semicircle, let me call it point, um, I think the next alphabet is E. So let me call it point E. Exactly. So now what we want to do now is to bisect angle E, O, D, you know. The angle between points E and point D, I hope you can see that clearly. Alright, so I'll bring back my uh, compass. Okay. So I place it on point D. Okay, let me just extend it so that's... Then with the same length, I'll come to point E. So then the point of intersection, which is um, right here. You have to be careful, like I said, when picking the intersection. So that's it there. So I'm going to draw it to point O. To point O. And then with this, now we already have our 97 and a half degree, which is like this. So let me just... So this point of intersection of this line that I've just drawn, so let me call it, um, let me call it point F. So now what we want to do now is we want to bisect angle FOB because FOB is 97 and a half degree. And once we uh, divide it, that's bisection of angles, we are going to be getting 48 three quarter. So let's do that. So I'll bring in my compass again. So from point B now, I'll draw an arc. Now with the same length, I'll come to point F, and then I'll draw an arc. Now from their point of intersection, which is right here, this one is more easy. 
I'll draw your line to point O. Point O. And with this, now we already have our angle 48 3 quarter, which is this angle. So this is 48 3 quarter degrees. So, okay. So, so that is it. Uh, so uh, these are the two methods that you can use to construct angle uh, 48 3 quarter. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know between these two methods, which one do you think is more easy and more convenient for you? So let me know in the comment section below. So if you also want to know how to construct uh, other angles like this, angle uh, 67 and the half, angle 165, angle 28 and the half, 33, 3 quarter and the likes, just check the playlist on the technical drawing. You'll find a list of uh, some of these videos right there. So thank you very much and I'll see you all in another video.